my personal dividend stock portfolio. This is the video that you have been waiting for. Today I am going to share with you my personal dividend stock portfolio, all 39 stocks, the percentage allocation of each stock, and so many other cool things that I'm going to cover in today's video. Before I even get started, if you want to download my portfolio right away, simply follow the link in the description below. It will take you to my newsletter, a new newsletter that I just created. So if you're on one of my other newsletters, make sure to sign up again. This is my newsletter for my dividend stock portfolio. Once you sign up, you'll receive an email on how you can download an Excel file that has my complete dividend stock portfolio. And from time to time, as I update my portfolio, I add more money to my portfolio, I share updated versions of my portfolio over time, you will receive them if you are on that email newsletter. And best of all, it is 100% free. I'm sharing it with the community here. I want to share this as a late Christmas present, an early New Year's present. We're almost at 19,000 subscribers here on PPC Ian, and I want to share my portfolio with the community. So I hope you enjoy it. So what are you going to find in this portfolio? You're going to find all 39 stocks, and I also classify the stocks by industry, so you'll see which industries that they're in. You'll see currently how much of a percentage allocation of my overall portfolio value is allocated towards each dividend-paying stock. You'll see also my target percentage allocation. You'll see where it is now, where I hope it to be in the future, where I'm trying to get it in the future, because some of the stocks that I want to be bigger, they're a little too small, and quite frankly, some of the stocks that are really big now, I want them to be a little smaller. I don't ever sell stocks in my dividend stock portfolio, so the way I rebalance over time is adding money selectively to the ones that need to grow. And over time, by default, because I'm not adding to the ones that need to shrink, they will naturally shrink as a percentage of the portfolio over time. So. It's really interesting also that I include my rankings. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you probably already know my top 10 dividend paying stocks of all time. I link to those in the description below to that video. Also, I classify the rest of my stocks in this spreadsheet. So if you wanna know, Ian, what are your um, number 11 through 15 favorite stocks? You'll see that in the spreadsheet. If you want to know 16 through 20, it's in the spreadsheet. If you want to know 21 through 25, it's in the spreadsheet. And then 26 plus. I will be doing some videos on these in the future, but if you want to quickly know, Ian, I know what your top 10 are, but what are the next five? And what are the next five after that? I have done that for everyone's in information in today's spreadsheet. So I'm excited about that. Quite frankly, I did this for myself as well because going into 2019, I'm changing my rules a bit. I want to be heavily focused on my top 10, but I want to be also focused on my top 15. So I'm, I did the top, I did these allocations or these um, prioritizations because I want to know going into 2019, Ian, what are your top 15? That's where I'm going to focus. So I'm broadening a bit. It's not going to just be top 10. I'll selectively pick from 11 through 15 as well, give myself a little bit more of uh, freedom going into 2019, making sure that I can really buy value because there's a lot of value out there in the stock market right now. I think there will be more. I think the market is going to tumble further and I can't wait to buy value. So some interesting facts. You're going to like this. I also do a pivot table in there. I pulled out my uh, top sectors. I allocate all of my stocks by sector, but a fun fact, you'll see the percentage allocation to each sector and you're gonna notice a trend very quickly. My top sector is CPG, consumer packaged goods. These are um, goods that come in packages. Good example is Procter & Gamble. Uh, just full disclosure, I am long on Procter & Gamble. I own that stock in my personal stock portfolio. They make the Swiffer Sweeper, they make uh, paper towels, they make laundry detergent, consumer packaged goods. Uh, number two, food, consumer packaged goods, food. So example of this would be PepsiCo. In terms of full disclosure, I'm long on PepsiCo. I own that in my personal stock portfolio, ticker PEP. -E PepsiCo, you can go to the store, you can buy some bags or even a box with a bunch of bags of Frito-Lay chips. So consumer packaged goods again in the food sector. And then my third sector, third biggest sector was SIN stocks, Thug Life. Sector number one, 
consumer packaged goods, 20.4% of my stock portfolio. Sector number two, consumer packaged goods, food, 12%. Favorite sector number three, top sector number three, sin stocks, 11.3%. I add all of these up. This is where it gets interesting. My top three sectors add up to 43.7% of the portfolio allocation. All three of these sectors essentially are all the same thing in different ways, but they are all consumer non-cyclical. I've been talking about that here since day one on PPCE, and I love consumer non-cyclical. These are the types of stocks that tend to weather the storm, good economies, bad economies. Historically, they've rewarded shareholders with increasing streams of dividends that can be used to pay the bills, passive income that I earn while I am sleeping. And so it's interesting just to see this here that 43% of my portfolio, 437 is weighted in these consumer non-cyclical stocks. You'll see this in my stock portfolio when you download it. Interesting one, if you look at current allocation versus future allocation, where I'm trying to get the biggest growth uh, sector within my portfolio is industrials. I'm really trying to grow industrials here. A lot of that is probably going to happen through 3M. 3M, makers of this whiteboard. In terms of full disclosure, I own 3M. I'm long on 3M, ticker MMM in my personal stock portfolio. So another fun fact the current dividend yield of my portfolio, the dividend yield, now not yield on cost, but just currently, take dividends divided by uh, current portfolio value, it's 3.89%. So that's gone up a little over the last month because the market's been falling a bit. Uh, but just an interesting uh, checkpoint there that that's where my overall current portfolio yield is. I feel like that's pretty strong, and I feel like that's a reflection of the market and of the value that's in the market now. So I'm actively buying stocks right now. I bought a lot actually in the last week or so. In my next video, I'll share some more of those transactions with everyone and what I am currently doing in the market right now. So I love this, um, I love this falling stock market. I'm a dividend investor. When you see my stock portfolio, you'll start realizing, especially when it's all on paper there, these are world-class businesses. These are businesses that I believe will thrive. They will flourish. Good economy, bad economy, these are companies that have rewarded shareholders for a very long time, have histories of increasing dividends. Most of my stocks, not all of them, but, but the lion's share of my stocks have those types of histories of increasing dividends over time. And if we are in a down market, the market is going down, I love that because I can buy my favorite companies, my favorite dividend stocks at progressively lower prices, which gets me to my goal of financial freedom quicker. Lower the share price, higher the starting yield, more dividend checks right away. So check out my portfolio. Link again is below in the description. Let me know what you think. Sign up for the email newsletter. It is free. You can unsubscribe at any time, although I do suggest you stay subscribed because that way you will receive updates when I update my portfolio periodically over time. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm doing this as a special reward to the amazing community that we have here. I was originally going to wait for 25,000 subscribers, but I just wanted to go ahead and do it. The time has come. Let me know what you think about the portfolio. Can't wait to see what the community thinks. If you want to thank me for the efforts here on PPCE, and please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, all of that means the world to me. And check me out in social media. I'll link in the description below. I'm on Instagram. would love to see you over there as well. Thank you, everyone. In terms of full disclosure, I am long. I own Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG, 3M, ticker symbol MMM, and, Pe and uh, PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP. I own all of those stocks in my personal stock portfolio. In terms of a friendly disclaimer, today's video is not investment advice. I'm not a licensed investment advisor. Today's video is literally just for your fun and entertainment. If you're going to go out and invest in the stock market or anywhere else, please consult a licensed financial advisor first. Literally just sharing my journey here on YouTube for fun and entertainment. Everyone, I wish you all an amazing Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. The holiday season is here. We're in the middle of it. I wish everyone out there all of the success in the world as we head into 2019. And I have big things planned for this channel in 2019. I am so excited about our nearly 19,000 dividend subscribers strong. We will be there any day now. Thank you, everyone. 
I will see you in the next dividend investing video.